Hello, this is Progressions and Series Lesson 2.1. In this, I will continue with basics of, of AP with examples. Here, I have written a general arithmetic progression A, A plus D, A plus 2D up to A plus N minus 1 into D. You know that A is the first term, that is term number 1. A plus D, second term. A plus 2D is third term and so on. Till N term. Now, in the previous lesson I discussed that sum of n terms of an AP, sum of first n terms is given by n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now I will tell you the second method to calculate the sum of first n terms of an AP. This is Sn can be written as n by 2, a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. I have written 2a as a plus a. Now you know that this a is the first term t1. And what is this a plus n minus 1 into d? We know that nth term is a plus n minus 1 in, into d. You can see this. nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d. So can I say that sum can be represented as n by 2 term number 1 plus term number n. It means that if you know the first term and you know the nth term, you can always calculate the sum of first n terms. For example, I am taking example on the right side. For example, if you want to calculate sum of first 20 terms, sum of, sum of first 20 terms in an AP. In an AP, if you want to calculate the sum of first 20 terms, you can calculate the, this by 20 by 2, term number 1 plus term number 20 that is last term so first term plus last term you can always calculate the sum of first n terms of an AP not only first plus last you can see that SN can be always calculated n by 2 second plus second last T2 plus Tn minus 1 term it means that second term from the beginning and second term from the end this T1 I'm just making it clear much this t1 you can see that this t1 is the first term from the beginning first term from the beginning and tn is the first term from the end first term from the beginning and is the first term from the end you add them into n by 2 you will get the sum of first 10 terms not only first and first second term from the beginning t2 is the second term from the beginning tn minus 1 this is second term from the end. If you add these two terms into n by t, you again get the sum. How? So, because you can write them as n by 2. What is t2? t2 is a plus d. What is t n minus 1? This is a plus n minus 2 into d. Solving this again, you will get n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Same concept. You will get 2a plus n minus 1 into d can i say that it's a very very important concept not only first plus last term second plus second last term will also give you the sum of first 10 terms so if you know the second term from the beginning you know the second term from the end you can always calculate the sum of first 10 terms so in this case sum of first 20 terms would be how much 20 by 2 if you know second term from the beginning that is term number 2 second term from the end that is term number 19 you can also calculate the sum of first 20 terms so, and this is applicable uh, in the same manner for all the terms in AP for example uh, you can also calculate sum of first n terms as n by 2 t5 t5 this is the fifth term from the beginning and fifth term from the end that would be tn minus same way sum of first 20 terms you can calculate 20 by 2 fifth term from the beginning t5 fifth term from the end that will be t16 how i came to know that it will be term number 16 see the there is a basic common sense apply here uh, which term will add to which term you can see that when i say t1 plus tn you can see that sum of term number sum of term number is n plus 1 n plus 1 here the term number is n here the term number is 1 the 
sum of term number is n plus 1 here also in the second case that was the first case in the second case also t2 2 plus n minus 1 what is this n plus 1 what is this t5 n minus 4 add this 5 plus n minus 4 you will get n plus 1 so whenever you are adding the sum of sum of term number sum of term number should always be equal to n plus 1 whenever you are calculating the sum of first n terms whenever you are calculating the sum of first n term sum of term number should be n plus 1 I'm taking one more example for example if you want to calculate sum of n terms this will be n by 2 t10 what is t10 is a 10th term from the beginning what which term will come now again apply the same logic the sum of term number should be n plus 1 so can I say that this would be t n minus 9th term you add this 10 plus n minus 9 you will get sum of term numbers this is equals to n plus 1 so t 10 is the 10th term from the beginning t n minus 1 is the 10th term from the end so you will get the sum of first 10 terms so the, this concept was that you only had to add first term from the beginning first term from the end into n by t you will get sum you can add third term from the beginning third term from the end into n by t you will get your sum here I am solving an example that will make the concept I just discussed clear to you. In an AP third term is 12, 28th term is 137. You need to find the sum of first 30 terms. Now what the ordinary way, ordinary way is that we know that term 3 is A plus 2D. This is 12, term number 3. Term number 28, A plus 27D would be 137. Here you will calculate A, you will calculate D and then you will apply the formula sum of n term is equal to n by 2, 2A plus n minus 1 into D. It, it will take 1 or 1 and a half minute or maybe 2 minutes to solve. This is a ordinary way to solve. Term number 3 is A plus 2D, term number 28 is A plus 7D, 27D and you will calculate A and then you will calculate D, then you put the formula and, and calculate the answer. The faster way and the more logical way is that I just told you that you know that sum of first 30 terms the sum of n terms I know that I'm just also discussing the base sum of n terms is n by 2 t1 plus tn first term plus last term it is not necessarily this is first or last it could be second or second last so I know that sum of first 30 terms could be equal to n by 2 term number 1 plus term number 30 but I don't know term number 1 and 30. So this is the first term from the beginning, first term from the end. I, it can also be calculated as n by 2 t3. This is the third term from the beginning and third term from the end would be t28. Because the common sense is there, I told you that the sum of term number should be n plus 1. The sum of term number should be n plus 1. So where n is 30, the sum of term number would be 30 plus 1, 31. Here also the sum of term number 3 plus 28 is 31. So that is the logic that we have to remember. Sum of 30 terms while calculating this would be n by 2 t 3 plus t 28. So sum of 30 would be 30 by 2. Third term is you know that 12 this is 137. So I will only write this in exam. I know that this is the first thing I will write. So sum of 30 term would be 30 by 2. This is 30 by 2 not n by 2 sum of 30 terms will be 30 by 2 t3 plus t28 now in this way you can calculate the question in 30 40 seconds so the, can I say this is 15 into 149 and you can calculate 15 into 150 minus 1 your cal basic calculation must be fast this is 2250 minus 15 you will get 2235 so that's the way you have to solve the questions in exam in a least possible time by simple plain logic you know that whenever you need to calculate the sum of 30 terms, it is will be third term from the beginning and third term from the end. T3 plus T28, you, you know both the terms, add this, multiply by 15, you will get your answer. There is third method to find the sum of n terms in an AP. We know that average of n terms is equal to sum of n terms divided by number of terms. So can I say that average equals to sum of n terms divided by number of terms as n. Cross multiply sum of n terms 
will be average into n. This is the third method. So if you want to calculate the sum of n terms, this will be equal to average into number of terms. Very important to consider is that in an AP, in an AP, average is also e always equals to middle term. Average is also always equals to middle term. Average equals to middle term. So it is only true in AP. In AP arithmetic progression, average is equals to middle term. So we know that if we can calculate the middle term, we can always calculate the sum of first n terms. First, let me confirm you how the average in AP is equals to middle term. I'm just writing a number: three, five, seven, nine, eleven. You can see that this is an arithmetic progression with a common difference is equals to two. D is equals to two. Now calculate the average. Average is sum of all the terms divided by number of terms. Sum is three plus five eight, eight plus seven fifteen plus nine twenty four plus eleven thirty five. This is a sum. Number of terms are five, so we'll get seven. So you are getting average of these five terms as seven. So can I say the seven is the middle term? You can see that middle term three five seven nine eleven. The middle term is seven. So average in AP is always equals to middle term. So it means that if you know the middle term, you can always calculate the sum of n terms in a AP. So formula will become in an AP a average into n. Sum of n terms is average into number of terms. Average equals to middle term M T. If you know the middle term, you can always calculate the sum of n terms. Now let me discuss uh, how to find the middle term in all the cases. When n is odd. When n is odd, n can be even or n can be odd. When n is odd, middle term would be t n plus one by twoth term. For example, if n is five, as it, as the case I discussed, middle term would be term number five plus one by two, twoth term. This is six by two, third term. Third term will be the middle term. As you can see that in our case, this is seven. What if the number of terms are even? If the n is even, as in this case, number of terms are even. How to find the middle term? Now, when n is even, middle term would be term number n by two plus term number n by two plus one eighth term. N by two eighth term plus n by two plus one eighth term divided by two. That will be the middle term. So in our case, middle term would be in this case middle term would be n by two. Here n is six. In our case, number of terms are six. So middle term would be six by two. Third term plus fourth term by two. This is seven plus nine by two. That is eight. So middle term is eight. So can I found the sum of this AP? Sum of six term of this AP arithmetic progression will be average into Number of terms, so average into number of terms are six. I told you that in an AP average equals to middle term into six. I just calculated the middle term. This is eight. So eight into six sum should come forty eight. Let's check whether sum is forty eight or not. These are terms three seven three five seven nine eleven thirteen. You will calculate the sum will always come forty eight. So that is the advantage of This method. If you know the middle term, you can always calculate the sum of n terms. Very important to remember that whenever the number of terms are odd, middle term would be middle term would be. I've just discussed with you. Middle term would be n plus one by twoth term. Whenever n is even, the middle term would be n by twoth term plus n by twoth plus oneth term by two. Let me take an example that will make the concept clear for you. In an AP, seventh term is given to you as eight. Find the sum of first fifteen terms. Now, what an ordinary student will do? This is an ordinary way of doing. Seventh term is a plus six d is equals to eight. You will try to find the as fifteen, but that will take a lot of time, or maybe you will not be able to calculate. The best method is we know that sum of n terms is equals to average into number of terms. Average is always equals to middle term in an AP. I just told you that. So sum of 15 terms would be equals to average 
into 15 where average is the middle term now whenever n is old i told you the middle term would be how much middle term would be mt middle term when n is old is t n plus 1 by 2th term here n is 15th so middle term would be t 15 plus 1 by 2 that is 8th term t8 will be the middle term you don't have to write i'm just writing in order to explain you so middle term will be 8 Whenever number of terms are 15. So can I say that sum of 15 terms will always equals to middle term that is term number 8 into 15. You know that term number 8 is 8 into 15 120 will be straight answer. So this question, this kind of question you can solve in exam under 20 seconds. You know that sum of 15 terms middle term will be term number 7. So sum of n terms is average into number of terms. Average is middle terms 8 into number of terms are 15 8 into 15 120 straight away without writing you can give the answer So that is the advantage of this method Finally, I am summarizing all the concepts of arithmetic progression in a single slide in an AP the first term is called as a The common difference is t n minus t n minus 1. It could be t 2 minus t 1. It could be t 3 minus t 2 Nth term any term you want to calculate in AP, it will be A plus N minus 1 into D. Now, sum of N terms we can find in three ways. First, there is a concept N by 2, 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Second concept is that you can add first and last term into N by 2, you will get the sum of first 10 terms. Not only first and last term, it could be third term from the beginning and the third term from the end. T3 is the third term from the beginning. T n minus 2 is the third term from the end how to check which term will come you know remember that the sum of term number would be n plus 1 so here 3 plus n minus 2 is also n plus 1 it could be also like this n by 2 t 10 plus t n minus 9 again the sum of term number is n plus 1 wait 10 t 10 means 10 term from the beginning t n minus 9 is 10th term from the end second concept third concept very important average into number of terms very important that in an ap average always equals to middle term so in this way i have summarized all the concepts of arithmetic progression in a single slide so that was all about lesson 2.1 basics of arithmetic progression with example in the next lesson Lessons I will discuss questions, questions based on AP. Thank you.